So the second thing we saw came from Leica and though it is a bit more difficult to picture, well we got to experience a really cool binocular. Until then all binoculars use the same lenses for both uh, of your eyes but now with this new development you get kind of a 3D effect with this uh, stereoscopic approach that mixes high resolution for one lens and the other one working on depth of field. So each lens focuses on these two separate tasks and it's actually your brain that combines uh, both imagery into a more realistic perception of what you are looking at. Well this is naturally super relevant in watchmaking and furthermore for artisans that are working on such minute components. For instance, uh, while we were there and discovering this uh, new binocular, we got to meet up with, uh, and by chance, with the guy we had previously done a report with when he was working for Gégère Lecoultre as a micropainter. He has now changed employer and works for the fantastic atelier of Olivier Baucher. We also had done a very interesting report on this uh, small Geneva workshop. I clearly invite you to see this one if not yet done and all links below in the description box. And well, well, it was super interesting to see his reaction when he was actually testing this binocular. For him, this new tool represented a serious alternative which would ease his job because the imagery your brain creates actually makes it much more comfortable and natural to look at, especially when you're working eight hours a day with your eyes stuck on the, such a binocular. So with regular binoculars, you see things very precisely, of course, but everything seems more flat. It's uh, actually your brain that has to compensate to get this sense of uh, uh, depth of field, which is naturally needed needed to adjust where you place uh, your paintbrush and uh, we're talking fractions of a millimeters in some cases. So this new binocular can really help you for these kinds of situations or needs and will ease the work of these artisans whose brain can now concentrate more on their artistic craft. I naturally tested this extensively and yes that would be yet another cool item to find under the Christmas tree and there are two versions of this binocular existing, one with uh, simple eye vision uh, and the second one you can actually record what you see and also transfer this on a large screen with a really good uh, image quality where we can trust uh, Leica on this one. So this is it uh, for this special imagery report, uh, just wanted to share something different for you guys. All the best and see you real soon.